This video is a lot less serious and a lot more comical compared to the previous ones we have done. Now, I was initially going to make a video about this in a different manner, back when this piece of news? I don't want to say news, maybe not news, but like just an idea that was circulating around. And yeah, I was going to make a video about this when it first dropped because I was like, oh, that's a really big thing right there. But because it was already in the evening, I was like, okay, we're not going to make a video now. Like, we'll wait till tomorrow to talk about it. I know Grav, Nathan Gravite, actually made a video about this and he had to delete it because it was immediately proven to not actually be real. Like 10 minutes after he uploaded the video, here's a screenshot from Nordic talking about the entire thing over there. So... Big ups to Grav for deleting the video after he made it, but like still. We're going to be talking today about Jacob Chitrin, a defenseman for the Arizona Coyotes, who is one of the best young defenders in the entire National Hockey League today. Maybe just in that tier slightly below the Quinn Hughes's and the McCars and the Darlene's and the Heiskanen's. I think Chitrin is good, but is he at that level? I don't know. We'll see. Either way, though, Jacob Chitrin's in a spot where, a few days ago, we had ourselves a big rumor going around as to whether or not he would actually be on the trade block and what the price was for this kind of player. It was a really big deal because this guy is really good. And Arizona Coyotes fans were like, okay, we're rebuilding, I get that. We're trading away players for picks, I get that. But not that guy? Are you kidding me? So let's just go over the entire trade scare that we had for Jacob Chitrin, where the source came from that was saying that it was going to go down, and the sources that came out afterwards saying that it's not going to happen. So it all started when the Twitter user HockeyHound posted a rumor talking about Jacob Chitrin. The tweet has been deleted, which is good, but they tweeted initially that as reported by the fourth period on the NHL Network show, the Arizona Coyotes are asking for two first-round picks for Jacob Chitrin. Now that tweet, as you can read, is being attributed to the fourth period. David Panyota, who made an appearance on NHL Network, they're saying that Panyota said the Coyotes are doing this thing, where it's like, okay, first round picks, we want two of them for Chitrin over here. And if you know who David Panyota is, he is an NHL insider that runs the fourth period. He makes appearances all over hockey media sources over here. He's on NHL Network. He makes appearances on the radio. He even makes appearances here in local Vancouver media talking about hockey rumors and all that because he's an NHL insider who has NHL sources who tell him things about the league and he reports on them on his website. So... I don't know if this is actually true, if this actually happened. I tried to look in the previous NHL Network archive because some people like to upload the clips onto YouTube and that stuff. And I tried looking to see if there was any David Panyota interviews done where he says, okay, Arizona, Jacob Chitrin, two firsts, that's the deal right here. And I didn't really find anything. That's not to say the Hockey Hound is incorrect or that they're lying about this whole thing. It's just I couldn't personally find the source that they're referring to. But this tweet was posted and it got people going wild. Why? Because Jacob Chitrin, if you take a look at what he is, he is a 23-year-old left-handed 6'2", 209-pound defender who plays for the Arizona Coyotes. He's making $4.6 million until 2025. He signed this contract extension back in 2019. And he's a guy who, if you take a look at the entire profile he has, okay, he was drafted 16th overall by the Arizona Coyotes in the 2016 draft. What did he do in 2016 that warranted that spot? Well, he was a 49-point in 62-game played player who was over a point per game in the postseason for the Sarnia Sting. In fact, if you go back to 2015-16, at the beginning of that draft season, so like around September, October 2015, some people were pegging Jacob Chitrin to being the second overall pick behind Austin Matthews. He was really gosh darn good early on in his OHL career, and he had this body of hype behind him early on in the draft season that said, okay, this guy could be one of the top two, top three names taken off the board. It's just due to injuries and due to a few Finnish guys really being fantastic in that year. Jacob Chitrin dropped all the way to 16th overall. He had all the other defensemen, too. Ole Olevi, Mikhail Sergachev, Jake Bean, Charlie McAvoy, all getting selected above Chitrin at the draft, too. This was one of those situations where you had a guy who was really good, he was supposed to be one of the top picks, and eventually he falls out of the top spot. And because he's already falling, hey, the momentum pushes him down even further on the draft boards, and teams that are seeing him drop are like, okay, he's dropping, what in the world? Why is he dropping? We're not gonna take him, okay, let's go with our guy instead. Let's take Jake Bean. Eventually, he went 16th overall, and he made the NHL year one. He was a big, strong body, very good mobility. 
He's physical, he's a gamer, his mind is always in the game, and he's got a great ability to shoot as well. Jacob Chitrin is just this behemoth on the ice. Maybe not in his size, he's 6'2", 209, not the biggest guy in the world, but when it comes to the force on the ice that he plays with, he is an absolute machine. Eventually, after playing a few seasons in the NHL, where he was a consistent 20-point guy, he put himself up a staple year in 2020-2021. 41 points, 56 games played, 18 goals on the Arizona Coyotes. Now, he led all defensemen in goals in 2020-2021. And you take a look at what exactly the rest of the Arizona Coyotes were able to do. Chitrin was the top guy on the team in points for defensemen. He was second all-time on the team behind Phil Kessel, who really lifted this decor above and beyond, not Oliver ekman Larson. The days of OEL being the guy who was on that blue line, he is an absolute wizard on the ice, he produces points like crazy... He's not there anymore. He had 24 points, 46 games played. Chitrin was the guy who overtook him. If you do the math, 41 divided by 56 multiplied out by 82. Chitrin was on pace for 60 points in a full 82-game season, and in terms of goals, he would have had 27 goals. That's an absolutely incredible season right there. Chitrin did that at 23 years old. He recently turned 23, he turned 23 in March, and he is getting paid 4.6 till 2025. This is a guy who is going to be a cog, one of the biggest cogs that the Arizona Coyotes want to build around in the next few seasons, which is why when we heard the rumors that this Twitter account is citing David Pagnota about that he's going to be on the market for potentially just two first round picks, everybody was like, okay, what in the world? Teams on the other side were like, okay, we need to trade for this guy. We need to get two firsts and just send it to Arizona because, hey, Jacob Chitrin's on the market. This guy could be a number one defenseman now for the next few years as well, maybe get 20 goals a season, and at $4.6 million, that's a steal. Absolute steal, especially for two firsts, which is why everybody was freaking out. And then Craig Morgan, who is an Arizona Coyotes insider, said this. Per source, this isn't true and the tweet ended up getting a whole bunch of traction as well, he then followed up his tweet and said this, the tweet has been deleted. I can confirm now, and I shouldn't have had to confirm, that Jacob Chitrin is not on the trade block. This should come as no surprise to anybody who is following the Coyotes, as they want to build around him. And so, that tweet was posted two days ago, three days ago, something like that. And it was actually Grav who posted his video talking about Jacob Chitrin just a few minutes before this tweet was posted as well. And that's kind of the thing that got everybody in the hockey market up in arms because, wow, are you kidding me? We had this entire motion going about that Jacob Chitrin, one of the top goal scorers amongst defensemen today, actually the top goal scorer, even though he is only 23 years old, he was on the trade block, we thought he was going to be traded, and all of a sudden, boop, it's like, nope, he's not. Come on, man. That's not cool. Now, this is not a shot at Hockey Hound directly, the Twitter account that went out there and made the tweet, because if they're citing David Pagnota, who said this on TV, then hey, that's their prerogative. They're just repeating what they heard, and they have all the rights in the world to go ahead and delete the tweet if it's been proven that it's not true. It's just, for a few brief moments over here, we thought that Jacob Chitron was going to be traded, and that was pretty pig. Like, I was going to make a video the next day had it not been for the entire... Craig Morgan shutting down of the idea that Montreal should go after and make a trade for this guy because they already did the Dvorak thing, and Chitrin is one of the best guys on that team. In fact, you saw Jacob Chitrin on Twitter. He tweeted out a little sad face after Christian Dvorak was acquired by the Canadians because you could kind of tell the bromance on that team. A lot of the names in the Arizona Coyotes got shuffled around. Connor Garland is gone. OEL is gone. Chitrin's still there. Keller, who knows if he's going to leave. Dvorak's already gone too, and instead they have Beagle Roo Sell, Erickson, and Shane Gostas bear in the team as replacements. So you could definitely tell there's a big shift going on in Arizona, but it appears that Jacob Chitrin, 23 years old, best goal scorer amongst all defensemen, is not going to be a part of that shift. So talk to me in the comments what do you think about the entire Jacob Chitrin trade situation that we had, the trade scare where we thought he was going to get moved for two first round picks. I'll say this to end off this video here because I didn't really talk about it anywhere else. If Jacob Chitrin was indeed on the trade market, Two firsts is way too little, man. Like, he could be a top-line 25, 26, 27-minute guy who can get 20-plus goals. You're getting at least a replacement-level top-four defenseman, a valuable first-round pick, and a prospect for this kind of player, because he's just so gosh darn good, he demands that kind of package. So, talk to me in the comments. What do you think of me enjoyed? This was Ashwell's 99. And, bye. <laughs>